Uh, I'm recording week two, show two, episode two, whatever you want to call it. And I am going to get on my soapbox again. And I'm going to get on my soapbox uh, about me. Uh, I did last week the video equivalent of what I want to get away from on social media, which was just leave something hanging out there uh, and for people to reflect on. Uh, and I was too open. So the idea that I wanted people to reflect on was this concept that people could uh, create a direct debit, a, a monthly payment, if you like, for their business. But of course, people perceived it in the way they wanted to. So I'm going to unpack it, uh, refold it a slightly different way and make it a little bit more prescriptive. So what I want you to think of is if you're a coach, what services can your business offer? So the obvious ones are coaching. So you can offer coaching and the coaching could be uh, in individual squads or groups. Now, the difference for me between squads and groups is squads are normally, in, in my opinion, up to about four people. Um, so you could, instead of doing uh, so many individual lessons, you could do more squad lessons. Uh, instead of doing so many squad lessons, you could do more group lessons. So groups are normally, typically a tennis coach takes up to eight people in one group. But I believe that you could uh, create a program where you could have more than eight people in a group, you could have eight people on a court, you've got three, uh, three courts, you could have 24 players. And so it was to trying to get people to think out of the box in ways that they could package up their coaching program to take the stress off their themselves mentally and physically. So you could have coaching. The second thing you could have is events. So you could have events that uh, uh, again, bring in big numbers, create a good club feel, create a a feeling of team and community. Uh, you could have um, your advice, your expertise. Yeah. Now, your expertise could be in whatever it is. You know, it could be in developing the skills of a tennis player. It could be in developing a competitor. It could be in helping uh, parents understand the journey of tennis and what it demands. It could be that you are an expert on the tournament scene. Uh, and you understand what all the tournaments uh, are in your uh, area, your county, your nation, internationally, whatever it is. Uh, and the fourth one is um, like an off-court type idea. So pro shop, uh, it could be teas, coffees, it could be a stringing service, it could be whatever it is. So... Think of these four things. So you've got your coaching, your events, your expertise in which you could create resources. It could just be PDFs. It could be uh, little video things like this. Uh, it could be creating a, an actual information pack um, to help in whatever area your expertise is in. Uh, and then you've got this kind of potential fourth strand, which is could be more like an actual tangible selling goods, stringing, uh, rackets, clothes, whatever. Yeah. So in whatever you can offer, what I think you could do is start to think of your coaching business as almost a club, a membership. So if you take those four things and you think, right, you need to discount because you can't just take the actual fee that those things could cost uh, and multiply them times one session a week, two sessions a week, times four weeks a month, times 12 months, uh, 12 weeks of the year. So you have to have an overall figure and you have to consider that you're sometimes going to get people who will max out on this thing and you will get some people who barely use it. So you have to have a balanced figure for this kind of middle ground. Now, only you can come up with this figure, but what I can't have is people just poo-pooing the idea. I really need to stop saying poo-pooing. Just like thinking it's okay, I get the, the principle, but it can't happen because X, Y, and Z. The purpose of this video is to, or these the vlogs, is to create a forum where we can talk. 
So I had uh, two comments from coaches I both like and respect, and both of them were like, yeah, nice idea, but I don't want nice idea, but I want you to think out of the box in ways that we can create this. And there must be people out there from other uh, industries that have done this, uh, have working models. Uh, so I want you to share this with anyone that you think can create these or has these models created already. So that's my that's me getting on my soapbox about myself because I I just left it hanging too open. So think of those four areas. The second thing is that uh, I very uh, happy to <laughs> to announce that I created uh, recorded my first podcast today with the one and only Louis Caille. So if you don't know who Louis Caille uh, Caille is, he is a uh, unbelievably experienced world-class coach who has worked with many many top players singles and doubles but has probably gained a reputation uh, internationally as being a double specialist guy's phenomenal he's coached for 47 years uh, and today he shared a, a kind of a bit of a snippet of his journey we did about 70 ish minutes uh, and the good news is that louis has kindly offered to do more in the future so this will be ready hopefully within the week. I just need to get it up into iTunes. I think they keep it for about four or five days before we can launch it. So I'll get that up in the next couple of days. So I'm super excited about that. Um, but the main thing from these vlogs is to have these healthy conversations. So no more nice ideas, but I want solutions. I want you to think out of the box and I want you to help each other. Uh, and if you have great ideas, I will give you the shout out uh, and we can create uh, this kind of ongoing discussion. So there we have it, week two. Uh, I'm uh, absolutely shattered, just back from Singapore, had an amazing time. I'm going to blog about it uh, within the week um, and share my experiences and learnings from the trip, but I'm a little bit jet lagged, so I haven't even put my, my branded backdrop up. That's how uh, tired I am. So. I'm going to get an early night uh, and you will see me next week and you will hear from the podcast within the week too. Okay, you take care. Bye-bye.